The Charger drive about to get going. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Meanwhile, Herbert's throw taken in by Palmer. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. And the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. First and 10 at the 35-yard line. Herbert on first down now. And the reception made by Green. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Now another timeout called for by the offense. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Herbert back to the air. He'll drop this one off to Eckler. And a good display of footwork will only get him just inside the 5 to the 4. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. On second and goal, Herbert. And this will be caught in the end zone for a Chargers touchdown. A great play there as the first half is winding down. And the Chargers have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And the lead is now 14 to 10. Well, from deep in the end zone, he's going to bring this out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Tap forward by Allen on the jet sweep. And obviously not fooling anybody here as they stop him behind the line of scrimmage. So we reach halftime here in a four-point game as we send you to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach? Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon. So the Chargers will start the second half with the lead and the football as we're underway in the third quarter. And no return on this one as the fair catch is single four and taken. The Charger drive about to get going. And, Charles, they got the lead. I would imagine the overall halftime tone was a positive one, but what do you think the talking points were in the locker room? Well, if there were three talking points at the half, partner, all of them were about turnovers because they were pretty loose with the ball. Otherwise, this lead could be even bigger. Now, I don't think that they overly harped on it, but I think they told them, guys, if you want to keep calling those plays that are exciting, you've got to take care of the ball. Otherwise, we may have to dial things back a little bit. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now Herbert with it, looking to pass. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And it's knocked away and incomplete. 
They've been trying and trying, but they haven't sacked him yet. He's been able to get away and make plays. Tried to make another one downfield right there, but to no avail. They'll have to keep up the pursuit, though, and not let him get hot. To throw on second and ten. Herbert flushed out right. And his throw is going to be incomplete. But based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Now it's Herbert. Open that is Palmer. And a nice job there defensively. They get him to the ground short of the first, right around the 42. On is the Chargers punter now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. And a nice special teams job here. This is going to be down inside the 10 at the 7-yard line. And for an offense that is struggling, this is not where you want to start from. Great punt. Fantastic punt. And for all those who wonder, what do punters do during the course of practice each and every day? The best ones do what we just saw there. Work on positioning the football and helping their team. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And their defense did its job by forcing the punt to start things out. And now, Charles, can the offense get in gear? I think, Marty, you can sense him saying, OK, the first half was theirs. But now, let's get the momentum back on our side. We forced a punt. Now let's go downfield and score. If we do that, we'll be set up well for this second half. So a much rosier picture now after that last play. Here's first and 10 at the 19-yard line. Up the middle, it's Cook. And he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run. All right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. Oh, it's tough one right there. He ran right to the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Allen from the gun on third down. Throw right side caught by Davis. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Good push up front and that run in between the tackles. Let's play the leverage game here. Offensive line just got lower than the defensive front, and they're able to get their pads on them and move them backwards and create space for their running back to run. That's to Cook out of the backfield. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So that'll be no better than an incompletion. And it'll be second down. But that was a simple throw and catch. But even with that completion, zero yards gained. So they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss. But that window closed. Oh, Allen cannot get away. And down he goes. Khalil Mack able to run him down for a loss of 12 that time. So after the sack, Allen and the Bills with work to do on third and long. Back to throw. Allen. Got it complete to Khalil Shakir. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers 37. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. Press coverage on the outside, and for defenders, that's the ultimate risk-reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping them on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got to step on them. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 37-yard line.
First down, here's the run with Cook. And hit behind the line. He lost the football. It's loose. And picked up by the Chargers. And they will take over possession of the football at their 42-yard line. I don't know about you, but I'm going to go to the positive side this time. Yeah, there was a fumble at the end of this one, but what a sustained drive. And if they keep stringing those together, you got to like their chances. And credit the defense, though. You're out there for that long. You start to get tired, but they were able to get the turnover. Did you just credit the defense? I like to credit the defense I, and the offense. I like you. And the analysts. That's perfect. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides, and there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. On second and ten, Herbert. He's going to air it out deep for Green. And got his man complete. And all the way in for a Charger touchdown. Touchdown, number 24 on the year. And the Chargers are able to strike quickly to add on to their lead. An extra point by Gain is up and good. And that makes it a 21-10 game. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped it to 23. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Last time out, they had the fumble. That led to the touchdown. Not a great look on either side of the ball. The defense gave up the points too, Charles. But they've got to take care of the football and do better here on this possession. It's certainly been a tough stretch, partner, for both of those units in there. Kind of put their defensive mates in a really tough spot there by dropping the ball on the ground. But an easy way to make it up to them, get out there now and get some points on this drive. Another tote for the workhorse this afternoon. It's Cook. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To the air, Allen. And this is Cook for the grab. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Kenneth Murray, the linebacker, there to make the play defensively. One quarter remains here as the regular season starts to wind down. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. This a second and seven from the 37. Again, it's Cook. And the defense on him quickly there as they stop him at the 40 for a gain of just two. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. Allen going to throw. And he completes it to the tight end, Knox. And he is going to have a Bills first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. 
This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. Now Allen. He's got the hook up with Diggs. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. 23 yards on the play. So from Charger territory now. Here's a first and 10 at the 27. Here's Allen to throw it. Completes it to Davis. And he'll be marked down right at the 20-yard line. Ahead of the chains now, second and two. Now they run the sweep as Allen just pops this forward. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. And this is just a little touch pass. They send the receiver in motion, just kind of tap it forward to him. Now it doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down. A nice, consistent game. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a nice pickup of 12 yards, and it gives him a first and goal. Okay, take us to school here, Charles. On a play like that, pretty successful RPO. What's the quarterback looking at? Basics, he's looking at the defensive end or the outside linebacker. If that player crashes down to take the running back, quarterback pulls it, runs to the outside end. Some teams, though, will read different players depending on defenses, but basically it's that outside player. Second down and goal. Allen, a quick hitter, complete. It's Davis. And he's going to be stopped up right at the line of scrimmage. So back-to-back -back plays, each get nothing. And now we've got a third and goal situation. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. So the edge rushers are coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. Yeah, that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. So it's been a long drive. They've held the ball for quite a while. Now what do you do here? Well, to me, at this stage, after this drive, this close to the goal line, three points would be a letdown. I'm going for it here. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet and said, go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. The Charger drive about to get going. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock. Defensively, they have three timeouts. So do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit. And you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts. So we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those 
gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. And the Chargers, first down. First and ten at the 40-yard line. Herbert. He finds his man complete. That's Bates. And he's out of bounds just before the midfield stripe of the 49. Herbert throwing again. Throw left side complete. That's Bates. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. This is a counter play. Eckler. And a good push up front, and he's able to navigate his way down inside the 30. Another nice game, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Three points separating these two sides with two minutes left to go in the fourth. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Justin Herbert looking to pass. And this is caught. And that could seal it. It's a touchdown. What a huge touchdown that was, obviously, here in the late stages of the fourth quarter as they try to put this one away. And, Brandon, when they watch the film after this week, they'll be very proud of every rep if they close this game out. Just a few steps remaining. They can't relax just yet. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately, he stopped right where he would have been if he had simply gone down to a knee at the 25. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. And that one will go for 13 yards on the keeper and a first down. Well, he is certainly dangerous when he spots a lane, and he keeps it himself there and worked out well. And how about the moving parts on a play like this? You know you have to practice it over and over because it's almost like a ballet that has to be choreographed. But how about once he made the decision to go, he committed to it and went. Let's face it. Most teams are going to defend the running back much more than the quarterback on that type of a play. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. the football and picked up by the Chargers and to the 43 so down inside the 45 to the 43 yard line that's where they'll take over well that drive wasn't a case of wanting to put points on the board it was needing they to had that, having had to and they didn't get it done yeah didn't get it done and now you look at the situation and the point differential two scores pretty much game set back how about the takeaway though huh how about those defensive guys and he's going to be taken down at about the 33 well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now, that is... 
He's got his man. It's caught. Touchdown, Chargers. A great effort there. 33 yards. And the Chargers look poised to reach 17-0 as they add on to their lead. Extra point by Gay is up and good. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. He will return this from deep in the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense. 